Patriotism involves a strong love for one's country and the willingness to make sacrifices for the purpose of nation building. It involves more than just standing up during the national pledge or anthem. Here in 1951, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah was released from prison after being locked up for over a year. He and other patriotic men sacrificed their lives and everything for Ghana to gain independence. The freedoms and rights being enjoyed today are due to the sacrifices and love that Nkrumah and others had for Ghana. But is the same spirit of patriotism still in the Ghanaian? Today, if you ask me this question, whether the same level of patriotism is there, I will say no, because you and I see uh, an MP elected from a village in the western region or eastern or Ashante region. He comes to Accra, and the next moment he has acquired the property as East Legon. So as ministers, so as district chief executives, so as government appointees and party leaders. The lawyer and historian said it is the latter-day politicians and leadership who are responsible. The latter-day politician looks back to these men and instead of saying, let me serve as they did, they would rather say, let me not serve as they did, otherwise I would die a pauper. And that is the reason why people must not look up to them. He, however, said hope is not lost, as the country's mineral resources can still be tapped, and urged the youth not to look up to the current political leaders. The young people know their vices and know that it is not leading us anywhere. So I expect young people, especially December 2024, to look up to somebody who would really solve the country's problems by creating more jobs, by resuscitating all the factories Nkrumah left behind. It appears now that people are more self-centered, are greedy to acquire wealth through foul means, and the get-rich-quick attitude notwithstanding the consequences. Chairperson of the National Commission for Civic Education, Kathleen Adi, agrees that there is a decline in patriotism compared to the country's earlier life and emphasizes the need for constant reminders to revive it. Education on how to be a good citizen, how to be law-abiding, how to even love your country, how to respect the symbols of the state. Those are the things that contribute to building patriotism. And you have to invest in those things. You have to make sure that you are constantly teaching people right from the time they get into school, right through the, all through the education period. She said despite the commission being under-resourced, it is doing its best to educate the people. Our staff are engaging with citizens in schools, in their workplaces, in association meetings. They are uh, engaging with citizens in their places of worship, all in the bid to deliver civic education and therefore build patriotism. Under the circumstances, we really do the best we can with what we have. The news team spoke to some young people who expressed concern about the decline in patriotism. In this current generation, we don't have it. We still don't have patriotism in the sense that People are thinking about themselves and their families. To some extent, we are patriotic because um, there are Ghanaian businesses growing and they are the same Ghanaians who are also patronizing and also advertising it for it to go outside the country. And also on social media, when there are jobs on Ghana, you can see Ghanaians fighting for their country to reclaim their stand. We, we are being led by, um, let me say, our leaders that is the MPs, our president, them the other leaders as well. So we normally look forward to them, and I think they should come together as, as one and also try to help us individually, not to also think about themselves. We, the youth, we wanted to travel. We don't want to spend our entire life in Ghana here. We are tired to be a Ghanaian. It's not easy. Only the politicians and the, I mean, the big men are enjoying, but the grassroots, we are suffering. Is that the way to go? And you, we want we Ghanaians to love Ghana. No, there's no way. We, we, can't, we can't give the love to Ghana, whereby those who have the quality content are not getting I mean, the platform to showcase their talent. 
One would say that our forefathers sacrificed a great deal to bring this country this far. And it is up to the current political leaders and people to learn from them and ensure that a spirit of patriotism is exhibited for national development. Evelyn Tengma, TV3 News, Accra.